Hello, you be beautiful people. Oh, let me just adjust this real quick. All right. I'm Michael Botts. And the reason you show up here every morning at 9 a.m. is the same reason I show up here every morning at 9 a.m. Because we know we have more to give the world. We know that there's more that we're supposed to be offering and loving and giving the world, changing the world. Good morning, Mindy. Good morning, Stacy Lopardis. Haven't seen you in a while. Good morning, Laura Carroll. Woo, you guys are rolling in this morning. Bravo, bravo. Look, you were born genius. You were born without fear. You were born without limiting beliefs. You were born to change the world. Bottom line, that's how it is. That's how it should be. Good morning, Kate. And what happens is you get caught in the riptide of life and you get sucked under into the ocean of am I enough? Now, out there in the ocean of am I enough, you're still trying to succeed. You're still trying to give the world what you're supposed to give the world. You're still trying to get what you want, it, what you think you deserve and get and need. But because you're in the ocean of am I enough, you start to breathe in doubt and you start to get slammed up against rocks and get fear and you start to live out of limiting beliefs. Good morning, Drea. And these limiting beliefs, this fear and this doubt, has drug you down. It's like made your feet be in quicksand. And you can't get down the path of success, the path of destiny, the way that you want to. And the whole purpose of this show is to pull you out of the ocean of am I enough, get you up onto the beach of I am enough, and start to resuscitate you. You spew out doubt. You spew out fear. You spew out limiting beliefs. And you start to change the world. You start to impact the world the way that you're supposed to impact the world. Good morning, Jerry Botts. Missed you last couple days. That's that's the way it's supposed to be. And that's the purpose of this show is to, is to help you start to live out of confidence and certainty and boldness and do the things and be the person that you are meant to be from in here. Now, it doesn't matter how old you are. You could be 77 and you could be 17. That doesn't matter. What matters is getting you free of the limiting beliefs, getting you free of the doubt and the fear and, and helping you and encouraging you to walk down the path of success. Now, the path of success is paved with gratitude. Everything starts with gratitude. Today, we're going to do it a little bit different. This is how I want you to do it. I want you to write your gratitude, but I also want you to say what you're proud of about yourself. So I'll start, okay? And this is how it should sound when you write it. Good morning, Shandon. This is how it should sound. Don't write good morning, Shandon. You can write good morning, Shandon, actually. Make her feel welcome. This is how it should sound. I am grateful for four beautiful, amazing, healthy children, and I am enough. And I am proud of myself because I've gotten to the gym for several days in a row. I have gotten my move on several days in a row, and I am enough. That's how it should sound this morning. That's what I want you to start offering. Now, as you start to put that in, we're going to make some space. Because what we know, if we connect this with this, we start to hear our inner voice. And our inner voice has almost all the answers we need. All the stuff that what we need to do next, doesn't matter if it's all the answers, what we need to do next is right here waiting for us to do it. It's waiting for us to listen and do it. So what I want to encourage you guys is I want you to take these deep breaths and I want you to just really give yourself permission to have that space. Good morning, Tim. How are you this morning, Tim? All right, let's take, let's take this first breath. Ready? Breathe in. Jeff says, I'm grateful for milk. You know, I was just thinking the other day, I don't drink a lot of milk, but man, do I drink some creamer. <laughs> Drea says, I'm grateful for your show and coaching. I am proud of myself because I am networking and talking. Yes. 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 Bravo, Drea. Thank you, Jeff. All right. Breathe in. Exhale. kind of got a sway going. I'm just going to let that go. I'm going to allow that. 
Jeff says, I'm proud that I have lost 259 pounds in the last two years. What, Jeff? Wow, that is amazing. And I am proud of you, Jeff. That is fantastic. That's all because you've been watching this show, Jeff. And the only reason Jeff's made that success is because he's been watching this show. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, Jeff. Shannon says, I'm grateful for my five amazing kids and I'm enough. I'm proud of myself. I have, I'm running an amazing business. Yes. Jackie, good morning, Jackie. Take another breath. Ready? Breathe in. Exhale. Good morning, Michelle. Hey, you guys, on Tuesday, Michelle's going to start a coaching session with me, and we're going to do it live at 8 o'clock on Tuesdays, like we do Drea on Thursdays. Laura says, I'm grateful for the beautiful morning sun. I'm proud of myself because I survived the last four, wait for it, days with minimal stress, and I am enough. Beautiful. Billy says, I'm grateful for hearing I am enough. I am proud of myself for raising two wonderful children. She did raise two wonderful children, man. Those kids are some of the best kids on the planet. That's my mom, by the way. Michelle says, I'm grateful for Mondays. New week, new goals, and I am enough. All right, ready? Breathe in. Exhale. I got to tell you guys, the community that you're creating, when anybody stumbles into this community, you guys make them feel so welcome. You make them feel so connected that they can't go away. And I love that. I love that about you guys. I I am I am proud that I've been doing this for over, you know, for however long I started in middle of December. I'm not keeping track, but that you guys keep coming and, and having an impact on each other. This is a beautiful community. It's a beautiful tribe, and I'm so proud of you guys. Today, we're talking about one of the secrets of success that you cannot not do. If you don't do this, you will not succeed. You might have little spikes, but you can't, you can't truly success with it, success, get success out of this. Mindy says, I am grateful for our city police officers. They are kind and understanding, and I am enough. Bravo, Mindy. Absolutely. Good morning, Jordan. One thing I'm really proud of myself about is whenever I'm in a restaurant, which I haven't been eating out as much as I usually do, whenever I see uniformed officers, if I have the money, I make sure... <laughs> Jeff says he, he's here until we ask him to drink the Kool-Aid. Come on, Jeff. The Kool-Aid's good for you. I make sure I, I buy them dinner, the uniformed police officers. All right, Kool-Aid's good for you, Jeff. It'll be uh, no sugar Kool-Aid, too, I promise. <laughs> okay, guys, this is the secret to success. Now, you can spike and do this once in a while, but the, the true successful people, the people that are having an impact on the planet in a true way, living in their true self, fully self-expressed, are doing this every day. Every day, Michael, that's ridiculous. I can't do it every day. I haven't even told you what it is yet. Why are you already starting with excuses? <laughs> Jeff is the funniest guy, man. I love having him on here. <laughs> Look, you need to bless two people a day. That is the principle that will put you at a new level. What happens is when you bless two people a day, your brain goes into abundance mentality. The universe sees the gap. You gave something, and now the universe is sprinting in to fill that. Just like we were talking about. When I see those police officers, and I have the finances, and I buy them dinner, I have blessed those police officers. The universe is sprinting faster than the speed of light to make sure that I, they fill that gap. The universe fills that gap. So the number one. I mean, really, I just, right with gratitude, this is right there. I really believe that this is the principle that, that a lot of people miss. I have, I have friends that own huge, successful businesses, but they struggle in their marriage. I have friends that have fantastic marriages, but they struggle in finances. I have friends that have these amazing bodies, but they cannot get it together as far as their finances go. And I'm telling you, each of us that are struggling are missing this thing. 
Because when you bless two people a day, you change, you change how you see the universe. You change how you see everything on the planet. Now, this is the rules. Why do you do it? The first reason, the why that you bless two people a day is because I told you, it creates a void, a vacuum, and the universe is sprinting in to fill that vacuum. And it creates an abundance mentality. If you're giving, your spirit's like, oh, there's plenty of room here. Let's bring in some more stuff. Let's bring in some more love. Let's bring in some more passion. Let's do that. That's the, that's the why. Who do you bless? Here's the deal. One of the people you bless is inside of your village. That's people that see you on a regular basis. Maybe the person that checks you out at the store. They see you once a week, once a month, like that. Maybe the, where you buy your gas. They know you. They see you. They know who you are. Someone inside of your village, a teacher of your, your kids, um, someone that works at the church, somebody inside of your village, that's one of the people you bless. The second person you bless is outside of your village, someone that can't get you back, someone that have to, if you gave them money, they'd have to get the DNA off the, off the money and, and go to the FBI and search you down, someone that can't get you back, okay? Those are the two people you bless. That's the who. Now, how? How do you bless them? Well, there's just an abundance of ways to bless people. You can bless people with finances. Absolutely, finances. You can bless people with love. You could give them love. I mean, if you're checking out and the person has these beautiful earrings, how much does it cost you to just say, those earrings are beautiful? That doesn't cost you anything, but it really draws that person into alignment. It helps that person feel good about themselves. That is blessing somebody, okay? You can bless someone with time. You know, how long does it take me to go get my um, neighbor's trash cans and put them out in the front yard when it's trash day and then put them back? No, it doesn't take me hardly any time. Now, I don't want it to, to get in the concept that the giving doesn't cost you. It should cost you. It's not really giving if it doesn't cost you. But it doesn't, it doesn't have to change your whole schedule for the day. Okay, so we've got finances, we've got love, we've got time. You could give something that you adore. You know, what is your favorite dress? Give your favorite dress away. Give away the stuff that's in the back of your closet. There's this much in, there's this much stuff in the back of each of our closets that we are never going to wear again. We could just give that to somebody and bless them. I have kids' clothes. All these kids' clothes. And Susanna's really good about giving that. She'll find somebody that needs it and she gives those away. Give what you have in that you're not using. Give someone a ride. If someone gives you a ride, give them gas money. Gratitude. Say thank you. Whenever I'm at one of the sports events and the police officer's there, I always go up and say, hey, thanks for being here. A smile. Billy Falls, Billy Falls now says, just smile at someone. When you give someone a smile, you're blessing them. You're encouraging them. You're lifting them up. So principle, fundamental of success, number Got to be zero. Got to be right there at the beginning is bless two people a day. Give. And sometimes that give's going to hurt, man. We just got done with taxes. Some of us are like, oh, wow, that's going to really sting for a while. <laughs> so hopefully you got done with your taxes. So maybe you're like, man, it would really hurt to give right now. Go ahead and give. Some of you just got a big, you're going to get a big refund. Congratulations. I'm proud of you. Give some of that. Give some of that. Absolutely, positively give some of that. Now, I have a special offer. I'm only going to do it today. If, if you guys don't take advantage of it, that's okay. I understand. But since we're in this spirit of giving, I want to... Jeff says, kindness is a virus and it spreads. Yes, absolutely, positively. So I'm going to make this offer to you guys. It's just a one-time thing. Um... I just want to, um, since we're talking about giving, this is what I want to do. If you buy someone else coaching from me, I will give you yours for free. So let's say Jeff knows Todd and Todd, you know, has been struggling, wants to transform his life. And Jeff says, hey, Todd, I have a friend that's a, that's a coach, 
a success coach, would you like some of that coaching? Todd says, oh my God, I would love that. And so Jeff gives Todd, buys sessions from me for Todd. I will give Jeff the same amount. If he buys 10 sessions, I will give Jeff the same amount. So that's how this is going to work. This is just today. If you guys don't take advantage of it, I get that. I, no, no, no pressure. If you're interested, reach out to me. I'll let you know pricing and things like that. Now, look, here's your calls to action. Show up here every morning at 9 a.m. Bravo for being here. Bravo. You guys are going to change the world. Congratulations. Secondly, share this video. Three, two, one, share. Mindy already shared. I saw that. Mindy, <laughs> I just can't tell you how much I appreciate it. I know Jeff shared yesterday. Stacy's always good about sharing. Michelle, I thank you guys for sharing. That, that means so much to me. You're blessing me when you do that, and you're blessing someone else. Don't count that as your two, though. You can count it as one for me, for sure. And thirdly, if you need some help, get to me. Look, it's, I think Mindy, Stacy, and Michelle just shared right now. Oh, you guys, oh, you make me feel so good. Listen, if you want some help, get to me. If you want to give this coaching session to someone else, and then you get yours for free, get to me. You can get me by phone. My phone number is all over Facebook, instant message, whatever. Don't try to call me, text me. I love you. I care about you. Have a com have an extraordinarily extraordinary day and bless two people today. I want you to start getting in the habit of blessing two people a day. I'm going to take those three apples right there and I'm going to give them away. As soon as I'm done here, I'll show that on Facebook. That's going to be part of my blessing today. I adore you. I care about you. Thank you for being here and I will see you tomorrow morning.